Hi crafters, I'm Verna from stampinnotes.com and I have a really neat triple easel card to share with you today. I first saw this presented by Dawn Griffith and I'm using some different stamp sets with mine, but I wanted to share with you how to create it. This is the card. So it has three easel cards in this set. Cheers to you, it's for birthday, birthday wishes. And then the big sunflower on the back. So let me tell you what you need to make this card. And if I miss something, it will be down in the description below the video. And also there'll be a link to that to my website, my blog, stampinnotes.com, where it will also be posted. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that little bell and then you'll get notified when I upload videos. Actually for the base, I'm gonna use a piece of our Fluid 100. Um, watercolor paper because it's heavy and this is four by five inches next um, for our easel cards <clears throat> we have the three different cards and I'm using the um, whisper white card stock the 12 by 12 and for the first card um, 12 by 4 inches and this is scored at 4 6 and eight. So that's four, six, and eight it's scored at. So let's go ahead and assemble this card. Valley, mountain, and then a valley fold. So it looks like this. Um, so we're gonna take and glue this short panel to this. I'm going to take my bone folder and give that a good press. All right, and this is going to stand up on, on this like that. So for our panels on our cardstock, you can see that there is designer series paper and there is a piece of cardstock on each of these panels. And I'm going to use Granny Apple Green cardstock. And I have already glued, adhered the designer series paper on this card sack. The designer series paper I've used is Artist, Artistry Blooms. And the designer series I used on this one was Forever Greenery. And I'm going to use the bright pattern on the bottom panel. So this is the bright side and this is the green shaded green side to save time i've already glued the designer's series paper to the card stack and we're going to set that on our panel like that and then i need to put the other one on the bottom here and that's going to be like this and we'll put that right on there like that. Okay, so for this card, it's going to sit like this. I'm going to fold this again and it'll sit better. So that's going to sit like that. And I've already die cut the sunflower piece. This is from the sunflower bundle. And I've used both the stamps from this and the dies. So for this sunflower, I have used um, the magenta madness, the hot pink color is cut from this. And then the smaller background piece is um, blushing bride and it's cut from this. It's kind of hard to match these up, but what you can do is you will see there's a spot on the sunflower that the leaves are going towards the right. They're bent towards the right. And the same thing on the die. So the easiest way to match that up is to find that. And um, that will help you match up your whole sunflower piece. Okay, we're going to line this back up. So this is going to go on there like that. I'm going to bring in my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to put it on around the center here where there are no holes. 
I am not gonna adhere most of the edges of this down. I kinda like the, the dimensional look that it gives when the edges are up like that. Now for the center, on this one I use the Playing With Patterns resin dots, which is really cute. But I decided to cut the center for this out of our rainbow glimmer paper. It's glimmery and shiny, isn't that pretty? Just gonna add some glue to the back of this and pop this in the center like that. Okay. I'm going to adhere this sunflower so that it sticks up a little bit above the top. I like that look. It will still fit in our envelope. I took the other card and put it in there and measured it. And it does still fit. That way we can show off the sunflower a little bit. We want him about that high off the card. So maybe ooh, three quarters to an inch up above the card. Now I've taken my uh, stamp from the sunflowers, the leaf stamp, and it's two leaves together, it's this one. And I have stamped them in garden green on granny apple green cardstock. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here. I've cut them so they're still together. And I'm just gonna place that on the back of that sunflower so they're sticking up a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere this to our base, which is the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. If you did not wanna use that, you could use our thick Whisper White cardstock or two layers of it even. You wanna adhere it towards the back because there's gonna be a piece of cardstock that's going to go here in the front. So we're gonna turn this over. And I'm going to take this and just line it up like that. Make sure that's straight. That looks pretty good. And, yep. And now I'm gonna put a piece of one by four inch granny apple green cardstock here. Um, I've posted the August host code. If you use that host code when you order um, $50 or more in supplies, Stampin' Out products from my online store, I will send you those beautiful butterfly gems. They're so cute. They're really pretty. Free as a thank you from me. And the host code is here if you're interested. Okay, so we have our first easel card done. Now let's do the second card. And the measurement for the second little easel, three by nine inches, and I've scored it at three, four, and sorry, three, four and a half, and six. And we're gonna do the same thing, valley, mountain, and valley fold. I'm gonna take my bone folder and really score that good. And again, we're going to adhere this to the back of this first flap here. And bring some glue in. And lay that down. Again, I'm going to take my bone folder. And I just you just want to make sure, sure these are creased really good. So now our designer series paper, we're going to put this at the base. And we've got a stripe pattern, so we want to keep it all going the same way. Running this way. And then we need our piece up here of our um, shades of green. And I think I've got 
And on the other one, the yellow is kind of towards the top, so we'll keep that going that way. I've used Granny Apple Green cardstock as the base for this designer series paper, which is, again, the Artistry Blooms designer series paper. Okay, here's our second card. And on our second card, we are going to put a small sunflower from the stamp set, and it's this sunflower here, and I've already stamped that. So I've already stamped this flower on the Blushing Bride cardstock with Magenta Madness. I'm going to cut off these leaves because I'm going to put in on some little leaves that I have stamped and take my snips and remove those like that. I've got another set of leaves that were stamped in Garden Green on Granny Apple Green paper. And I'm going to put a little dab of glue right here on those. I'm going to set them behind the sunflower. And I want this like right here at the top. We'll put a little bit of glue here. And set that up. We're almost done with our second easel. I'm going to bring in <clears throat> a die cut piece of Whisper White paper. And I have used... The dies from the Stitch So Sweetly die set. And this piece is this one right here. The next little small die on the front is with the smallest rectangle. I'm going to stamp using Magenta Madness a sentiment that says birthday wishes. And this wish set is, or this sentiment is from the Butterfly Wishes stamp set. It's this one right here. I've mounted that on my clear block. I'm going to stamp that on there like that. And I'm going to use dimensionals to mount this on the, the this little easel. Dimensionals just give a little added depth to your whatever you want to pop up and Give us some dimension, it looks really nice. I'm just gonna use two of those. And I'm gonna put it slightly over the sunflower. I think like the, well, I think I want it up a little higher, so maybe like this. Okay. So our second easel is done. And we're gonna put him about halfway back so it's halfway back on this strip here. And, whoops. And we want to make sure it's centered. So right about there. Say that was good. Okay, and then for our next easel, this is a smaller, the smallest one, and this one is two by six. It's scored at two, three, and four. So we're going to do valley, mountain, and valley. This is so cute, this little card. And my bone folder. We're going to just take and give each of these a good crease. I must have ink on my finger here. Like that. And we're going to take, put some glue here. And hold this down. Give it a good press. Now I'm going to add my layers, and we want this one on the bottom. Like this. And we want our green shades. 
Okay, we'll put that on the bottom like that. And then our green shades we're going to put up here. Like that. Okay. So this butterfly we can pun I've stamped from the Butterfly Wishes stamp set. That's the set again. If you don't have this, well, all the sets I'm using today are nice, but I love the butterflies and the nature on this one. Um, and I've stamped that butterfly on Magenta Madness with Magenta Madness ink. And I'm going to just, because this paper is so short, I'm going to stick a post-it on it so I can move it around in the stamp here, or the, yeah, the punch here. And there we go. And I'm just going to bend him a little bit to give him dimension. And I'm going to take and put some champagne rhinestones down the center. I These are like my favorite rhinestones. I love the faint, slight pink color in them. I'm going to come in with my take a pick tool here to pick them up. There's one, and we need three, two, and we need one more. Okay, so there's three rhinestones. And we need a tad of blue. And Mr. Butterfly is going to go on there like that. Pretty, pretty. I've got a little bit of an edge showing there, and I'm just going to snip that. It's an edge from the other side. There. Okay, now this one we're going to bring right up to the edge here and glue on and center it like that. I think that's good. Now what we have left to do is stamp cheers to you on this. And this is going to be the piece that holds this easel up. Again, I'm using uh, Magenta Madness. Cheers to you. And... We'll put a couple dimensionals on the back of this one. Okay, so cheers to you goes right here on the edge like this. Does that look centered? Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, now as you can see, this isn't leaning right. So we're gonna bend these forward and just press. Again, we're going to bend this forward. Just give that a good press. Like that. And we're done. So let me hold it up better so you can see it this way. Well, maybe I'm not going to be able to hold it. And there we are. So, another cute triple easel card. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Take care.